Hi, I'm Amy. I'm the assistant head here at Thames Student Infant School and I also lead year two. And I've got some messages for you. First, this is the weekly letter that we send out via parents' mail. It gives you information about what to look out for next week. Also, it has a detailed timetable of what your child will be learning the following week. As you may know, all learning at TVI is differentiated and personalised according to your child's needs. Science is a very important subject as part of your child's curriculum and by the end of year two, your child will be able to learn a range of skills. So how do we learn science at TVI? Let's take a look. During each lesson, the learning intention is stated. This is then followed by a brief discussion which encourages children to develop their scientific knowledge and vocabulary. Hands-on learning is very important at TVI. Every child is given the opportunity to work scientifically by observing and recording through practical activities, just like what we're doing here. Shortly after, children can then apply what they have learnt from their practical activities during the consolidation phase. Take a look at what we're doing here. Each child gets the opportunity to write to show their understanding of what they have learnt. After the consolidation phase, a plenary is carried out to check that your child has understood their learning or to extend their learning. By following these crucial stages in our learning, each child will be able to understand the nature, processes and methods of science and this is especially beneficial for answering questions about the world around them. Today we met, we are learning about money. So I have four different groups here doing different activities. The dolphins are working on the computer and they're counting which hand has the right amount of money, which is 10p. And over here, I have the caterpillars, the playing shopkeeper, where they are working out change from 20p. And over here, because he's finished working out from 20p, so he started an extension to 30p. And over here, I have the alligators, and they are using the 100 square to take away from one pound and over here I have the bees and they are taken away from one pound as well. They have price items and they are also using the 100 square to take away from one pound. My name is Patrick Kenny and I'm a teacher of Year 2 Tigers. Every day we do, we practice handwriting, where we concentrate on the letter formation. Welcome to our class. I'm Riza, I'm the year two teacher in this class. I've got Lakshmi as my TA who's behind the camera and we've also got Matthew doing his uh, supported reading. So today we're going to talk about our morning reading and our morning reading session and what we do during that time. So if you come with me. So now let's talk about the books first. So every morning children swap their books and they all have their own book bands and the book bands are determined by their ability to ability to read. So what we do every morning, um, usually myself or one of the TAs reads with the children and we determine if they are moving up their book bands and when they do, we ensure that they move up and know which book bands they need to read from. At Thames View, we also have our reading strategies which all the children are aware of. And these strategies really help the children 
actually understand what they're reading and think about different ways of approaching their reading. So another thing we do during our morning reading session is our phonics practice with the children who need a little bit of a push with their reading. So what we usually do is we get a higher ability child to help those who need a little bit of a push with their reading. So how can you help your child at home? Have a look at our website and download some of these documents. This is TVI Phonics at Home. So what can you do to support your child with their phonics? Also, we have our Grammar's Essentials and reading at home. These will help you know what to do to support your child with learning at home. And finally for me, what should be in your child's book bag? Well, they need to take home a new book every night. Unless they're reading white books and above, then they're a bit longer so they can keep those books for longer than one night, for as long as they need. Also, they should have their yellow book and their reading record. That's for you to sign each night. And the yellow book is for them to practice learning their words and writing sentences.